Darkroom Booth now has the ability to play sounds with your screen files. Let's take a quick look at a sample. Color photo. We're going to take four pictures. Please look at the camera. Now show me a scary face. Three, two, one. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what it sounds like. Uh, let's take a look at how you make this work. So the first thing you'll notice is we have an enable audio checkbox on the screens tab and that's a quick way to just turn all the sounds in a screen template off. If we choose to edit the screen, most of all of the sounds are going to be contained in the edit screen window and you see we have a music and sounds tab here and we've got quite a few options. There's background music which you could hear playing in the background. You can loop this, change the volume, fade it and then you've got sounds for different uh, times during the booth session um, for get ready when it's over. Uh, we can have separate countdown files for you know four, three, two, one, uh, shutter sounds and then you can have a sound before each photo and you also notice we have a preview here so you can make sure you've got the right sound. Please smile for the camera. And you'll notice these paths here by default if the sound files are stored in other locations we will embed all of the sounds in the border file so when you have a border all and you move that border all of the sounds will be contained within that single border um, so that's where most of the sounds are we also have the ability to put sounds on buttons so you can see here when it's uh, set to color color photo and you can do the same thing say for copies two prints um, and pretty much any other button that you might uh, have in your booth so that's a quick overview of how sounds work in darkroom booth please check out our website for more information and thanks again for using darkroom booth